Hi guys, good day. Welcome to ABB Interactive. And today we will talk about how to separate the drum pads from the keybed of Alasis VI61. First thing you need to do is to go to alasis.com. The link is in the description below and download the software. Install and configure the MIDI in and MIDI out of the controller. When you first open the software, um, everything that is inside your controller right now is on the default ones. So basically all the settings and the programs are on default. So basically you can adjust everything from default to your customized settings. Of course, we're going to touch on the main settings here, main section, and I'm going to explain to you one by one what these settings are for. Well, in the main section here, uh, you will see four commands, which the first one is get preset from hardware. Second, send preset to hardware. And the third one, save preset to hard drive. The fourth one, load preset from hard drive. That simply means the first command is you are accessing the, the stored preset from the hardware, from the controller. Second one, to send that particular preset to your hardware. So there, if there's like a customization, you're sending it to hardware, to the controller. The third one is to save the particular preset that you have modified to a hardware, to save it for a future use. And the last one is to load the preset from the hard drive and then to send it to be sent to the hardware itself. Now let's get into the splitting of the drum pads from the keypad. So as you can see here, the MIDI channel set by default is on MIDI channel one. So basically when you play the keypad on the lower, lower octave, it will also affect the sounds that are being um, set to the drum pad whenever you do it in your DAW. So the only way to uh, split the um, drum pad to the keypad is to change the channel setting from channel one, the default one, to channel two. Now, after changing the values, then uh, um, no need to modify any other things except the channels. Then you can now save the new custom settings to your hard drive. Now, let me just um, save this to my hard drive. Okay. All right. Okay, everything seems good. The yeah, folder in your hard drive. Now let's go to the main section again, and then let's load that particular preset from your hard drive so we can send and save it to our controller. So just locate the preset. And the next thing you need to do is to send that particular preset to your controller, to your hardware. Now, in my case, I'm gonna select the slot number two and then after that, click send. Now this time it will be sent to your Alasis VI61 internal hardware. And then uh, as you can see here on the screen, when I press any keys on my pad, it'll show, it'll light up the channel number two. That means that this pad is now working. So it's sent whenever I uh, press any key on the 16 pads, it'll be sent to channel two. Now let's do some testing here. On the first track, I have loaded a plug-in contact and I'm pressing right now the keypad. And then on the second track, I'm gonna load the drum rack here like this. And then let's see if it works, if it separates the drum pad to the keypad. Here it goes. So let's just put some uh, instruments on the drum rack. Um, let me do this like this. Okay, so I'm gonna set the second track to get the um, signal from channel two. So the contact number one track, we need to take the um, signal coming from channel one. So remember channel one remains on the key keypad and channel two exclusively gets information from the drum pads as we have set it in uh, the Alasis VI61 editor. 
so what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna change the uh, plug-in sound into a more better sounding saw sound so let's try to record here it is That's it guys, that's how you simply separate or split up the signal coming from your drum pad to your um, DAW and the signal coming from your keypad to your DAW. So just a recap, all you need to do is to download the software, the MIDI, MIDI editor from, I mean the Alasis VI61 editor from the official website of alasis.com and then install it, set up the connection, then after that go to the drum pad section change channel number to whatever channel you wish your drum pad to send the signal to and save the customized settings to your computer folder and after that uh, load up the customized settings send the settings or that preset to your hardware and there you go the preset is now sent to your hardware Alasis VI 61 permanently well don't forget or uh, don't worry about that because you will be able to change that again you can replace that same preset on that same slot every now and then now let's say you you have sent the preset to slot number two don't forget to switch your Alasis keyboard to P02 preset on your actual keyboard unless you do that you will never see the changes by default when you switch on your Alasis VI61 it'll use um, P01 by, by, by default change it to P0, P02 by pressing the up arrow button and um, yeah so that's it um, I hope I was able to help you uh, to those who have confusion on how to change the settings of your Alasis VI61 mainly uh, on how to split keypad from drum pad of your Alasis VI61 now if you liked this video please don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.